you were supposed to be a lawyer. I And was. then, for the hell of it, I guess, you decided to audition for The Daily Show. So well, what, what, what happened? What was going on there? Uh, let me say this. I wa it wasn't like I wanted, it wasn't like I was built to be a lawyer. Let's not pretend that I was cruising toward a career that I felt passionately about. I just was sort of, I was the first person in my family to go to college. I never, I wanted to be a professional and I wanted to have, I just wanted to have a, a satisfying professional job. And I, that seemed like a logical choice. So I assumed that I would go to college and then apply to law school and then become an, but I didn't really, it wasn't like I was thought that I was meant to do that or anything. And in the, over the, in the course of that, I ended up, you know, wanting to, wanting to get great grades. So I took a theater class thinking that I could just ace it really quickly and um, it would help my GPA, <laughs> but I actually fell in love. And so I went down the path of pursuing an acting career. And then I went down the path of pursuing a comedy career because I'm not you, you, that great. You fall actor. in love with acting or you fall in love with someone? I fell in love. No, I actually fell in love with acting. It wasn't related to a lover. Jose, <laughs> yeah. no. No, no, because both things could be happening at the same time. They could be. But in this case, it was um, just self-directed. I mean, certainly there were lovers along the way. No. <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, I I just fell in love with performing. I really fell in love with performing. And then I met, I, met, I did meet my future husband, and, um, and, and comedy became – Vi comedy became something that I just wanted to do. And I never thought that anyone would actually pay me for it or that it could be a real career necessarily, but it turned out it seemed to work out. Now it's time for our special Good Neighbor segment, brought to you by our sponsor, Estate Farm. When I think about what it means to be a good neighbor, I often think about the cooks in my restaurants. Two good examples. Elmer Trejo and Maria Montes. They are both from El Salvador, and they've both been with me at my restaurant's Jaleo in Washington, D.C. for almost 30 years. I may have taught them a bit about Iberico Ham over the years, but the truth is they have taught me so much more. During many crazy dinner services with love, and traded stories about our cultures and cuisines. Supporting fellow cooks in the kitchen allow us all to understand each other, creating a community of good neighbors. Food brings people together. It fosters understanding, appreciation, and unity among diverse communities. It makes neighbors of people who may not come from the same place, or even live near one another. That is the power of food. I'm grateful to State Farm for sponsoring longer tables and for emphasizing the importance of being a good neighbor to everyone around you, no matter who you are or where you come from. State Farm is there with the coverage you need for your car, your home, and even boats, motorcycles, RVs, and other things that matter to you. With a State Farm agent, you know someone is there to help you choose the coverage you need. With so many coverage options, it feels good knowing you can find what works best for you and your needs. And when you need ways to get help, a State Farm gives you options there too. Whatever it is in person, or on the phone with your local agent, or on statefarm.com, or on their award-winning app, State Farm lets you do things your way. So when you need help protecting the things that matter most, remember to say, like a good neighbor, a State Farm is there. Before you began acting, were you a natural 
Were you the person who would tell jokes in a party? No, 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 not at all. I'm actually very studious and a nerd and a and an A student and kind of, but I am <laughs> I was always like I'm not a class clown. I you would never you would never see me at a party holding court. This is never I'm kind of pretty shy. Actually, very shy. I'm actually very, very shy. Very bad at parties. Pretty bad in the room. Not like not the person who brings the goods to every social situation. You will normally find me hiding in the bathroom at a social. Like I'm good at dinner parties, like a nice little dinner party, but not a big room. I don't walk. In, I don't need to be the center of attention. Wow. Really, ever. But if I have a job and it's a performance job. I tap into a different, like a, a part of my psyche that is, it's just like a separate, it's just like yeah. a separate part of my character that I don't even know really where it comes from. I, there is certainly a deep, obviously, need for applause and approval in there, something mm -hmm. psychological, and I am an only child, but um, apart from that, it's, it, no one would... No one would have ever guessed. No one would have ever said in high school, most likely to stand on a stage and bear her soul, like not in a million years.